Bereshit, Genesis 21. And Yahuwah visited at Sarah, as he had said, and Yahuwah did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Avraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which Elohim had spoken to him. And Avraham called at the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bore to him, Yitzhak. And Avraham circumcised his son at Yitzhak, being eight days old, as Elohim had commanded him. And Avraham was a hundred years old when his son Yitzhak was born at unto him. And Sarah said, Elohim has made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Avraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Avraham made a great feast the same day that Et Yitzhak was weaned. And Sarah saw Et the son of Hagar, the Mitzrium, which she had borne unto Avraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Avraham, Cast out this bondwoman and Et her son. For the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Yitzhak. And the thing was very grievous in Avraham's sight because of his son. And Elohim said unto El Avraham, Let it not be grievous in your sight because of the lad and because of your bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto you, hearken unto her voice, for in Yitzhak shall your seed be called. And et also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is your seed. And Avraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and et the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Be'er Shiva. And the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast at the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bowshot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift up at her voice and wept. And Elohim heard at the voice of the lad, and the angel of Elohim called to Hagar out of the heavens, and said unto her, What ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for Elohim has heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up at the lad, and hold him in your hand, for I will make him a great nation." And Elohim opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water, and she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And Elohim was with the lad, and he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took him a woman out of the land of Mitzrayim. And it came to pass at that time, that Avimelech and Pilkal, the chief captain of his host, spoke unto El Avraham, saying, Elohim is with you in all that you do. Now therefore swear unto me here by Elohim that you will not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son. But According to the kindness that I have done unto you, you shall do unto me, and to the land wherein you have sojourned. And Avraham said, I will swear. And Avraham reported, 
rather reproved at Avimelech because of a well of water, which Avimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Avimelech said, I know not who has done this thing. Neither did you tell me, neither yet heard I of it but today. And Avraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Avimelech, and both of them cut a covenant. And Avraham set at seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Avimelech said unto El Avraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs which you have set by themselves? And he said, For these at seven ewe lambs shall you take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me, that I have dug this well. Wherefore he called that place the Er Shiva, because there they swore, both of them. Thus they cut a covenant at Be'er Shiva. Then Avimelech rose up, and Pekal, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Peleshitim. And Avraham planted a grove in Be'er Shiva, and called there on the name of Yahuwah, El Olam. And Avraham sojourned in the Palestine's land many days.